Representative McNamer, thank you for sitting down and talking to us. First question I have is, who was the first person you told when you decided to run for elected office? And what made you decide to run? I told my wife that I decided to run. And the reason I ran is because I'm a mayor of a small town. I was a mayor of a small town. And we've had some tough economic times. And I thought the best way I could help my community, my city of Elba Lake, was not being mayor, but by being the House of Representative, running for cha championing the things that are important to our city. Well, tell me a little bit more about your district and some of the issues that people care about there. I've got a large district. It starts with Wilkin County, uh, Traverse, Big Stone, Grant, Stevens, Pope, and Douglas. We're in the center of the state, in the western part, we're west central Minnesota. And w just like everybody else, the first and most important thing is we want to see the economy turned around. Uh, we want to see our property taxes lowered, and we want to put people to work. Just like every other place in the state of Minnesota. What types of specific issues, for or against, are you looking forward to taking action on? There's a number of things uh, I want to stabilize local government aid to our cities and our counties. Um, I uh, want to lower our property taxes, and I want to make sure our schools get paid back. Those are the things I ran on. And there's other things that, are, that have come up that are extremely important to us, and, and there are local issues such as I want to make sure that uh, our 800 megahertz radio system becomes tax exempt, um, and I want to make sure that our health care workers get a raise, which they haven't had for four years, and I'm talking about our, our local nursing homes, which are vitally important to small communities in West Central Minnesota. Tell us about yourself, your occupation, and your home life. I'm a retired teacher, retired volunteer fireman. I'm an active EMT, and I'm mayor, I have been mayor of Elbow Lake for the past four years. Um, I'm passionate about education, and um, I'm passionate about local government. And those are the things that are important just about to everyone, so everyone in our district. And you said you're married. Do you have any kids? I have two daughters. One lives in Las Vegas, and the other one lives in New York City. And my daughter from New York is here today, and we're visiting with her. If you could offer up the first bill of the legislative session, what would that bill be? I've got three bills that I'm looking at right now. One is to make our 800 megahertz radio system tax exempt. Um, the other one is to help out a school district that consolidated between Cyrus and Morris, Minnesota, help them get rid of their old building. And the third thing is I'm looking to help out our nursing homes in rural Minnesota. If you could sit down with any person, living or deceased, and have dinner with them, who would you choose and why? Franklin Delano Roosevelt, and I'll tell you why. He right now is my favorite president, and his motto was this. I'm here to help those who cannot help themselves. And that's my main goal, is to help everyone, and especially those who can't help themselves. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome.